So let's take a look at what you do or what you look for if the device direct remote services communication fails. This uh, function may fail because of DNS server settings. And many times you may have changed, uh, bought a new router, or you may have changed your ISP provider, in which case the DNS services may have changed, but the Xerox system may need to be updated. So once you've logged in as admin, go to properties, connectivity, and setup, and look at either the wired or the wireless connection, depending on which one is being used and check the DNS settings. The failure to communicate often results from the fact that these settings are not the same as the current settings of your network. So in order to find out what the current settings are, the easiest and quickest way is to open a command prompt, prompt and type ipconfig space forward slash ALL. You may have to scroll up and down. You may have more than one network interface, for example. And what you want to do is check the status of the same network segment that the copier is on. So in this case, it's this network for the copier that I'm showing you, and these DNS settings do appear to match the DNS settings, but what if they're different? Then you're going to change these settings to the ones that match your network. If that doesn't work, you can also try some public uh, DNS servers that are very commonly used. One of them being the Google DNS servers 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .8 .8 .4. Scroll down, click apply, wait for the system to refresh the page, and then test the communication again. Another uh, commonly used uh, server is called Public DNS, and those addresses are 208.67.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.222.